welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'm going to talk about Treatment without hormone blockers helps solitary prostate cancer metastasis. For patients with solitary metastasis from prostate cancer, an approach called metastasis directed therapy or MDT can slow the time to cancer progression, reported a study in the Journal of Urology. MDT focused treatment using surgery or radiation therapy without androgen deprivation therapy or ADT. Metastasis directed treatment has emerged as a potential alternative for men with oligo recurrent prostate cancer, a state of disease with a limited number of metastatic lesions after initial treatment. In the MDT approach, surgery or radiation therapy is used to specifically target the area of cancer spread. That's in contrast to ADT, systemic therapy to block testosterone and other male sex hormones, which promotes the growth of prostate cancer. Androgen deprivation therapy with or without other systemic therapy is the standard treatment for metastatic prostate cancer, but has numerous adverse effects that can decrease quality of life, including sexual dysfunction, bone thinning and loss of muscle strength, among others. If MDT is effective in controlling limited recurrences, it may avoid or delay the need of ADT. Dr. Andrews and colleagues evaluated their center's experience with MDT without ADT in 124 patients with oligorecurrent prostate cancer between 2008 and 2018. Treatment consisted of surgery in 67 patients, most with lymph node metastasis, and radiation in 57 patients, most patients with bone metastasis. In both groups, average follow-up time was about four and a half years. Both forms of MDT were effective in terms of biochemical recurrence reflected by reduction in prostate-specific antigen or PSA level. After surgery, PSA levels decreased by about half in 80.5% of patients after MDT. Most patients eventually needed ADT or other systemic therapy for progressive cancer, median time 18.5 months. However, at 3 years follow-up, 29% of patients were alive and free from cancer progression. In the radiation therapy group, 40.3% of patients had a one-half reduction in PSA level. Median time into systemic therapy was 17%, while three-year progression-free survival was 17%. The researchers emphasized that their study was not designed to compare the outcomes of surgery and radiation, as the two types of MDT were used in patients with different kinds of cancer metastasis. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.